But going straight into our second topic, you talk about uh, uh, wedding committees, yeah? And kama kuna relevance to these wedding committees. Now, where should you be part of a wedding committee? Yes, I've been. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes last year, one, just uh -huh. one. I look forward. It was good. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend has had a very, a very great supportive team, and uh, we stood by him. And uh, it was very successful. At the end of it all, he did a very nice wedding. We there, we were there for him. We assisted. We, we changed some cho some tunes. And right now they are very happily married and I think to me wedding committees are very vital. Nimeshudia licha mimi nikapera sijawa. Ah, haya mambo pia haja yule mtu anakuwa wasasa. Alafu pia kuna njia moja anaenda kufanya harusi. Sasa hapa pia kuna mjadala pale kuna mkutano huu bantu amsaidia vipi mashaka atakuwa mna gani. Sasa hiyo hiyo mkutano muhimu sana. Weddings are private. I'm a Christian and I I don't trace wedding committees to any verse in the Bible. I'm also a preacher. I find as much as they may be necessary because of the, the social setup, they have been abused, they have been misused, and it's like they take advantage of, uh, you know, like somebody's demanding back from friends. You know, it's like they let them pay me back because of. What is the purpose of this committee? Nia kutoa pesa, ya kusaidia kupanga arusi, purpose ya kene gani? Nia kutoa futa pesa. Kwa sababu arusi, zinafanywa na pesa za, ukifanya budget ya arusi na kuanga juu sana. So, at some point, inategemea unaita kina nani kwa hizo wedding committee. Sio kila mtu. So, according to you, it's entirely for money? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> What I know about these committees, at least you have to choose very close friends. Not anyone. Not anyone could, uh, can fit to your committee, wedding committee. Because these guys, at the end of the day, these guys will talk trash about you. And they'll they'll pack you matope. And at the end of the day, you just need your wife. You just want to have to have a happy marriage. So, easy committees. You should not choose anyone. That's like what if those close friends of yours are very generous na ideas, like in the pesa, Awana. Um, you can just you can still look for other modalities. I believe you can you can talk to maybe relatives if at least they, they happen to let you down. Because at the end of the day, uh, people can really let you, can really frustrate you. And if you can't borrow a leaf from uh, your fellow human beings, let's see how cartoons get married. Finley, show us how cartoons get married. Very simple, very. <laughs> yeah. Are you married? Myself. Uh, uh, are you, are you allowed to go on and on? Are you Are you Are you planning? Plans are underway. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, will you have a committee for your wedding? Yes. I'll, I'll look for one. But I'll I look for my the friends who have worked with me all, in all my life. Maybe put it up. <laughs> 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 <
ile mkutano mshafanya ile mkutano wa harusi. Sasa baada ya harusi kufanyika mambo salama, mambo fresh eh. Sasa utampata huyu bwana labda ameenda lodo ama ameenda kapenguri kufanya kazi. Sasa huyu bwana mwenyekiti alikuwa akisema yeye chama basi atakuja hapo atupe ngeli na msamiati kwa yule madam. Amwambia wajua mimi nilikuwa mwenye mimi bonge la mtu mimi ndio nilisema mimi mjadala harusi ndio kafanya harusi. Sasa wewe vipi usitoe mpango? Sasa hiyo pia ni inaadhiri sasa mambo na mkutano hizo. Mkutano wenyewe si mbaya. Ni msaada kwetu aswa kama tutafanya harusi sisi. Natusaidia sisi. Lakini afike kinyume nyuma ule bwana chama. <laughs> Matata chunguzima mtu wangu. Chama eh. Ha yule chama. Anakonyoka na bibi ya watu. Eh. Nakwambia. <laughs> <laughs> Matata. Haya kaka brother kwani una experience? Azika. <laughs> ah, ah, Acha nikwambie ukweli. Yeah. Mimi ukweli wangu unabainika mambo kwamba Ah, uh, nimeshuhudia aswa kabisa. Yule bwana ameenda Lodwa, mgeni ameenda shughuli fulani, hizi harusi harusi. Sasa yule bwana anakuja kinyume nyuma. Mwambie ah, binti vipi? Wajua mimi nilikuwa yule, nilikuwa yule msamizi wenye harusi yako. Huyu bwana alikuwa ana chochote anapaka wala panya. Lakini mimi hasa hivi bwana mimi nilifanya mambo kabisa. Kwenye team yangu nilitoa hela mimi nikafa shughuli hapo. Sio na mambo salamu. Ah, sasa yule vipi? Sitoi kijicho. <laughs> Okay. Chama si baya kwa sababu labda msichana wangu au kijana wangu sasa hivi hana pesa. Unajua sasa akiita marafiki watamletea kakitu hata kama wataongea vibaya harusi tu itaendelea vizuri. Mimi siwezi. Why lie? Uwezi uwezi kuwa na committee. Ah ah. I can't. Na hiyo ni kitu tuna mimi nimeelewa niko na watoto wazima lakini sija sawa. Lakini nikijipanga kivi yangu na bwanangu. Hicho ni fine. Mwanzo wale wenye kanisa wale usikia raha sana kama kuna harusi labda hapo hapo kuna raha tutakula wali tutakula pilao hapo tutakula chakula kwa fujo fanyeni harusi tutakula bana lakini baadaye wasema mligaramika nini sio mmebak na fukara nyinyi majifanya kiongea juu juu wafanya harusi hasa hayo ni mambo tutashuhudia sisi tunapata sisi kwenye harusi harusi na nimeshuhudia <coughs> wengi ndo wazao vunjika kabla zijaanza kwa sababu watu wenda wakachukua mkopo na kopa kopa u, kope kwa bank kope kwa cooperative uko kazini ukope kwa marafiki ukianza nyumba ama ukianza e, ndoa na madeni sasa ebu kama wale ambao washaoana kuchukua loan na kuwa shida kulipa mtu huyu anaanza family na madeni sasa ebu hiyo family itakuja kutoka kwa madeni lini wale wanaitwa wanajua wanafaa pia wao wajue wanaitwa wawe kama witness mambo ya halusi tunaachia hapo wewe ni vibaya sana in fact ukiingia kwa halusi yani unafikiria unakuta ile furaha ya doa kuingia kwa ndoa unakuta baya madeni eh? what is that unajua pia tunawekea watoto wetu viwango ambavyo sio realistic kwamba kama ni msichana rafiki yake akishafanya harusi ina fulani naye anaanza kusukuma wazazi na marafiki mimi pia nataka harusi yangu iwe kama fulani sasa maadili ya harusi yanapunguzwa kuwa ni kama hiyo harusi sio harusi kama kukuwa na mapambo na pesa ukiwa unataka kuoa na unataka kuwa na bajeti yako lazima uwe na kiwango fulani ili hata hiyo pesa wakati wakati hiyo harusi haitafanyika vile ulikuwa umepanga ile pesa uko nayo iwe itagaramia ile harusi yenye itafanyika kwa saa hiyo je kwa maisha utakuwa na komiti unajua swali ni kwamba hii komiti uwe nayo kwa harusi uogope mvua kwa sababu ya harusi na kwa maisha utakuwa na komiti ambayo itakuzuia mvua kukunyeshea kwa sababu hata sasa hii tunanyeshewa na tulio wa kitambo sasa mimi sijui kama komiti ya harusi inaweza kusaidia kwa maisha usinyeshewe why do you want to be like somebody else you know we don't have photocopies no let's not have prototypes unfortunately people are trying to copy each other in everything na mtakopi huko nje kwa nyumba mtakopi kitu. Usijaribu harusi pia tu kwa sababu anafanya harusi. Ama kiongo gani atafanya huyo? Wewe utauza shamba alafu unafanya harusi. Baadaye utanoa shamba na pesa gani? Na shida matatizo haya hauna paka unafanya. Marriage is not about that wedding day. Marriage is about the life after wedding. Wedding is good, it can be beautiful, but at the end of the day you two of you will remain, your committee members will not be there for you. At the end of the day, you remain the two of you. Vile tu amesema, you know, wedding is just for you and your partner. Unajua watu wengine wakujanga hizi committee to fulfill the dreams. Yeah, Joa anaweza taka kuoa. Mimi nataka kuvaa white na suit ya green anakuambia azia. Tunata ongeza ka yellow, ka ndugu au ni ka nen. Kama dudu mixa kama kalimbo hivi. Kalimbo eh. Na ukiambiwa kiss the blind, usimkiss muhag. Muhag ni mbeta. 
don't live other people's dreams. Mimi ni JBC tomorrow. Enjoy your evening and uh, hit us on our uh, social networks. That's Facebook, Matatu Sema Kitu and Twitter, Matatu Kenya. Tell us how uh, it happened or how you want it to happen. I'll see you tomorrow.